The following is a morning lecture given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on March 23rd, 2016 in Sridham Mayapur, India. The talk was given on Gorpanim Day. Happy Gaur Purnima. Happy Gaur Purnima. Once in eight billion four hundred six hundred and forty million years. Once in eight billion six hundred forty million years, Lord Krishna comes. Lord Krishna comes. In this universe. In this universe. He came five thousand years ago. He came five thousand years ago. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not every time. Not every time. After Lord Krishna comes. After Lord Krishna comes. He decides. He decides. To come again as Lord Chaitanya. To come again as Lord Chaitanya. Because he's thinking. Because he's thinking. And people worship me. That people worship me. And they go to Vaikuntha. And they go to Vaikuntha. I want to open the door. Let people have the chance to go to Golok Vrindavan. I want to open the door. Let people have a chance to go to Golok Vrindavan. So Ravad came. So Prabhupada came. To open the door. To open the door. When Lord Chaitanya came in, he opened the door in India. Lord Chaitanya came and he opened the door in India. But we are in the far in the western country. But we in the far western countries. And uh, China maybe they call it the far east or the could be the far west. But China they call it the far east, but it could be the far west. Uh -huh. Uh, anyway, <coughs> all these countries. Anyway, all these countries. Uh, Lord Chaitanya's mercy didn't reach. Lord Chaitanya's mercy didn't reach. So he predicted that he would send a devotee. So he predicted that he would send a devotee. After five thousand years. After five thousand years. Five hundred, no, five hundred years. After five hundred years, who would uh, spread Krishna consciousness all over the world? Who would spread Krishna consciousness all over the world? Bhakti Vinod Thakur also uh, predicted. Bhakti Vinod Thakur also predicted. And some will come, and they'll easily go from one country to the next. That someone will come and he will easily go from one country to the next. And he will spread Krishna consciousness. And he will spread Krishna consciousness. He'll spread the Harinam. He'll spread the Harinam. Lord Chaitanya predicted. Lord Chaitanya predicted. My name will be sung in every town and village of the whole world. My name will be sung in every town and village around the whole world. So, <coughs> first time that Prabhupada met uh, his Gurudev. The first time that Prabhupada met his Gurudev. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur told him, "You're educated." Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur told him, "You're educated." You speak English. You speak English. So you should go to the Western countries. So you should go to the Western countries. And spread this, this uh, consciousness. And spread this consciousness. So uh, finally, when uh, he was advanced in eight, now we're celebrating the fiftieth anniversary of the Islam. 
So now we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of ISKCON. And the 51st anniversary of Prabhupada's departure to the West. And the 51st anniversary of Prabhupada's departure to the West. So at that time, the Rajavasis, the God brothers, everybody told them. So at that time, the Rajavasis, the God brothers, everybody told him. Why are you going to the West? Why are you going to the West? Lord Chaitanya meant the civilized world. Lord Chaitanya meant the civilized world. You know, India. You know, India. Not you know, the whole world. Either. Not the whole world. <laughs> How can the whole world be Krishna conscious? How can the whole world be Krishna conscious? Just stand with now and take it easy. Just stay in Vrindavan, take it easy. But no, Prabhupada said, Lord Chaitanya said, Prachidite, that but means no. the whole world. Prabhupada said, Prithi, Lord Chaitanya said, Prithivite, it means the whole world. So, because Prabhupada had this vision, so because Prabhupada had this vision, that's why we're all here today. That's why we're all here today. We can't begin to understand how great it is. <laughs> that the Supreme Lord comes down. <laughs> we can't begin to understand how great it is that the Supreme Lord comes down. That the devotees would associate with him, would, would uh, play with him, would. Have pastimes with him. That devotees would associate with him, would play with him, would have pastimes with him. When uh, Shachi Mata sent him as a small boy, when Shachi Mata sent him as a small boy, to get his elder brother Vishwarup to come back for lunch. To get his elder brother Vishwarup to come back for lunch. Vishwarup was sitting in the uh, Class of uh, Advaita Gosai. Vishwarup was sitting in the class of Advaita Gosai. He was giving daily Bhagavatam class. He was giving daily Bhagavatam class. And many pure devotees sat in the class. And many pure devotees sat in the class. When Lord Chaitanya came, when Lord Chaitanya came, he pulled on his brother. He pulled on his brother. With one hand. With one hand. And he was carrying his blanket with the other. And he was carrying his blanket with the other. Like little kids carry their blanket around. Like little kids carry their blankets around. Pulling, come on brother, time to take your lunch. And pulling, come on brother, time to take your lunch. And everybody looked at him. And everybody looked at him. Everybody. Everybody. And just, just a, a child. Why their attention went to him? He's just a child, but why their attention went to him? And this was mentioned in the purport. And this was mentioned in the purport. Uh, I wasn't clear whether a daughter was sight. Right now, it's not clear in my memory. If he told this to someone, or this is just in the purport. Uh, it's not clear to me, but right now. But it's he either told this to someone or it was at the purport. Just like say a, a child is very dear to the parents. Just like say a child is very dear to his parents. But when the child dies. But when the child dies. And the atma leaves the body. And the atma leaves the body. Body is put out. The body is put out. It loses that attractive feature. It loses its attractive feature. So Krishna Chaitanya or Krishna is the soul of all the uh, souls. So Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna is the soul of all the souls. So when he comes in. So when he comes in. He is all attractive. He's all attractive. To everybody. To everybody. At one time the. Uh, Class of Lord Advaita. One time, the class of Lord Advaita. 
like something that he said like something that he said so they all said hari va hari va hari va hari va the lord chaitanya was playing outside so lord chaitanya was playing outside he ran in he ran in i said what do you want boy they said what do you want boy you called me <laughs> you called me <laughs> no no we didn't call you <laughs> no no we didn't call you <laughs> Little did they know. <laughs> Little did they know. Okay, then he went back out. Okay, then he went back out. <laughs> so, as Krishna, he didn't hide it. So as Krishna, he didn't hide it. No, he lifted up Govardhan. He lifted up Govardhan. He swallowed fires. He swallowed forest fires. He swallowed forest fires. He killed demons. He killed demons. He did things that you were not possible for anyone else to do. He did things that were not possible for anyone else to do. But Lord Chaitanya came. But Lord Chaitanya came as a devotee. As a devotee. And he also did miracles. And he also did miracles. But hidden but hidden so he was coming as a devotee people call him krishna he cover his ears no 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 so he was coming as a devotee if people called him krishna he would cover his ears and say no 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 so <coughs> it was a unique situation so it was a unique situation People, here devotees felt that here is Krishna. A few devotees felt that here is Krishna. Pure devotees. Pure devotees. In the heart they felt. In the heart they felt. But, ultimately, he kept himself hidden. But ultimately, he kept himself hidden. In some rare case. In, in some rare case, uh, he had to show. He had to show who he was. Who he was. One Brahman was saying his Gayatri in the Ganges. One Brahman was saying his Gayatri in the Ganges. Ganges water went up. The Ganges water went up. Down. 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 Up. Down. So what's happening? What's happening? He looked. He saw a golden boy. Walking by the side of the Ganges. He looked and he saw a golden boy walk by the side of the Ganges. Sometimes he'd walk right to the Ganges. Sometimes he'd walk right to the Ganges. His feet would touch the Ganges. His feet would touch the Ganges. And sometimes he came a little bit out. And sometimes he came a little bit out. And the Ganges would rise up, try to touch his feet. And the Ganges would rise up and try to touch his feet. Well, like this up and down. It went like this, up and down. And then he went up the side of the uh, bank. And then he went up by the side of the bank. Too far for the Ganges to reach. Too far for the Ganges to reach. And this Brahman was a devotee his whole life of the Ganges. And this Brahman was a devotee his whole life of the Ganges. And then he saw the personality of the Ganga. And then he saw the personality of the Ganga. Come out from the water. Come out from the water. And pay her obeisances to Lord Krishna. And pay her obeisances to Lord, to Lord Chaitanya. To Lord Chaitanya. The golden boy. The golden boy. And he was just overwhelmed. He was just overwhelmed. He wanted to see Ganga Devi his whole life. He wanted to see Ganga Devi his whole life. And now she's offering obeisances. She only offers obeisances to Krishna. And now she's offering obeisances. She only offers obeisances to Krishna. So he ran out of the water. So he ran out of the water. And he watched, and he saw that. And he watched, and he saw that. Ganga was offering pranam to this golden boy. That Ganga was offering pranam to this golden boy. And uh, then she entered back into the water. And, and then she entered back into the water. So he paid his obeisances also. So he paid his obeisances also. But then he asked, who are you? But then he asked, who are you? Can you show me? Can you show me? 
So then Lord Chaitanya showed him his form as Krishna. So then Lord Chaitanya showed him his form as Krishna. He said, You can stay here. You can watch my past times. He said, You can stay here, you can watch my pastimes. But if you tell anybody, but if you tell anybody I'll have to remove you. I'll have to remove you. <laughs> <laughs> that means new birth. <laughs> that means new birth. <laughs> so uh, there's some devotees like that. They were there. So there were some devotees like that. They were there. And they knew who Lord Chaitanya was. And they knew who Lord Chaitanya was. But they couldn't tell anyone. But they couldn't tell anyone. They could just watch. They could just watch. And some people, some people, they may not know. They may not know who they are. Who they are, or who Lord Chaitanya is. Or who Lord Chaitanya is. When Lord Chaitanya was going to school. When Lord Chaitanya was going to school. Maybe he was eight years old. Maybe he was eight years old. Maybe seven. Maybe seven. That time, Jagannanda. He was a schoolmate with Lord Chaitanya. At that time, Jagadananda was a schoolmate of Lord Chaitanya. And um, he had an argument with uh, Lord Chaitanya. And he had an argument with Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya naturally defeated him. And Lord Chaitanya naturally defeated him. But he was so upset. But he was so upset. That he sat by the side of the Ganges. That he sat by the side of the Ganges. All day. All day. And cried. And cried. He didn't eat. He didn't eat. He didn't rest. He didn't rest. He stayed the whole night. He said stayed the whole night. Crying. Crying. And then in the early late night, say early or before the sunrise. And then you can, time. you can say in the late night, early before the sunrise, Mangalarti time. Uh <coughs> Lord Chaitanya and uh, Gadadhar Pandit came out. Lord Chaitanya and Gadadhar Pandit came out to find Jagadananda. To find Jagadananda. 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 Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> so then uh, they saw him by the side of Ganges. So then they saw him by the side of the Ganges. He said, well, why are you coming here at night? They said, why are you coming here at night? These, these roads in uh, Navadip, they have little stones. And these roads in Navadip have little stones. You might have noticed during the uh, Parikrama. You might have noticed during the Parikrama. If any of you went barefoot. If any of you walked <laughs> barefoot. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> He said, why, why are you coming up in, in this uh, night time? It's dangerous. They said, why are you coming in this night time? It's dangerous. It may hurt your tender feet. It may hurt your feet. This is Jagadananda. This is Jagadananda. You come home with us. You come home with us. I couldn't also sleep. I couldn't also sleep. I couldn't go on my bed. I couldn't go on my bed. I was on a grass mat on the ground. I was on a grass mat on the ground. I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. Now you come with us. Now you come with us. So Gadadhar walked right next to Jagadananda. So Gadadhar walked next to Jagadananda. Jagadananda pulled himself up. Jagadananda pulled himself up. Taking the help of uh, Gadadhar. Taking the help of Gadadhar. And then uh, three of them walked. To the house of Sachi Mata and Jagannath Mishra. And then the three of them walked to the house of Sachi Mata and Jagannath Mishra. So Lord Chaitanya was telling Jagannanda. So Lord Chaitanya was telling Jagadananda. We are friends. We're friends. Sometimes we disagree. Sometimes we disagree. We have arguments. We have arguments. But then we make up. But then we make up. But every time. Our love for each other increases. But every time, our love for each other increases. Uh, Jagadananda is Satya Brahma reincarnated 
as soulmate of Lord Chaitanya. Now Jagadananda is Satya Bhama, reincarnated as a schoolmate of Lord Chaitanya. And everyone knows who Gadadhar is. And everyone knows who Gadadhar is. If you don't, if you don't, find out. <laughs> find out. <laughs> we worship him every day. <laughs> we worship him every day. <laughs> so. Uh, <coughs> Then they went to the house of Shachi Mata. Then they went to the house of Shachi Mata. He grabbed some puffed rice. He grabbed some puffed rice. Jagadananda. Jagadananda. Took that. Took that. Fell asleep. Fell asleep. After a couple of hours. And for a couple of hours. After a couple of hours. After a couple of hours. Uh, Shachi Mata came with a, a plate of uh, rice. Shachi Mata came with a plate of rice. With hot milk poured on it. With hot milk poured on it. Gave it to uh, Jagadananda. He gave it to Jagadananda. Said eat this. And said eat this. So he took the uh, milk rice. So he took the milk rice. Slept again. And slept again. Until Mishra came and said, "Okay, boys, get up." Then J- Jagannath Mishra came and said, "Okay, boys, get up." Time to go to class. Time to go to class. So they quickly finished their morning duties and went to class. So they quickly finished their morning duties and went to class. Like this, Lord Chaitanya had his his variety of Ashtakali Lila. Like this, Lord Chaitanya had his varieties of Ashtakali Lila. What? Actually, all the principal players in the um, Past times. But actually, all the principal players in the past times were either uh, eternal associates who had come from Golok Vrindavan. Were either eternal associates who had come from Golok Vrindavan, or the uh, were uh, very advanced devotees like Hanuman. Were very advanced devotees like Hanuman. Or there were some very principal uh, devas like. Uh, Brihaspati, Brahma. Or there were some very principal devas like Brihaspati, Brahma. Who came and joined the pastimes. Who came and joined the pastimes. So how fortunate we are. So how fortunate we are. At, in the Brahma Vajra Puran, in the Chaitanya Mongol. That in the Brahma Vajra Puran, in the Chaitanya Mongol. They predicted this devotee will come. They predicted this devotee will come and spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. And spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. We get to associate. <laughs> and we get to associate <laughs> with Srila <Shila> Prabhupada. <laughs> Bhakti Siddhanta said, not only you will benefit by spreading. Bhakti Siddhanta said, not only you will benefit by spreading, but all those who help you. But all those who help you. Now who wants to help Prabhupada? Now who wants to help Prabhupada? So everyone, whether you're Directly Prabhupada disciple or grand disciple. Or so everyone, whether you're directly a Prabhupada disciple or a grand disciple, by helping to spread the Krishna conscious movement. By helping to spread the Krishna conscious movement. Through the temples. Through the temples. Through Namhat, through Bhakti Vriksha, through any means. Through Namhat, through Bhakti Vriksha, through any means. You're helping Prabhupada. You're helping Prabhupada. Through book distribution. Book distribution. Book publishing. Book publishing. Deity worship. Deity worship. So, I mean, any service you do that's helping. I mean, any service that you do that's helping. Like an army works on the uh, on their stomachs. <laughs> like an army works on the stomachs. So we need cooks. So we need cooks. We need. Uh, how many of you appreciate the cooks? How many of you? Appreciate the cooks. Uh, so <coughs> they're all helping Srila Prabhupada. So they're all helping Srila Prabhupada. Those who are, uh, take part in the management and, and unraveling the complicated uh, 
things. Those who take part in the management and unraveling the complicated things. They're also helping Prabhupada. They're also helping Prabhupada. So by this helping of Prabhupada. So by just helping Prabhupada. We get spiritually blessed. We get spiritually blessed. I'm just frankly, I'm just overwhelmed. Frankly, I'm just overwhelmed. And thinking what I would have been you know, if Prabhupada had come. Thinking where I would have been if Prabhupada hadn't come. I would have, instead of being a uh, Das and Das and Das, I would have go Das and Das. Instead of being Das and Das and Das, I would have been what? Go Das. <laughs> I would have been Godas. Servant of the senses. Servant of the senses. Anyway. So <coughs> Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya. Before he came, Sachi Mata had eight children. Before he came, Sachi Mata had eight children. But they, right after being born, they died. But right after being born, they died. So, uh, Jagannath Mishra, he lost eight children. So Jagannath Mishra lost eight children. Then he did a special Vishnu puja to get a, 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 a boy. Then he did a special Vishnu puja to get a boy. And uh, he got Vishnu and he got Vishwarupa. Who was the uh, Sankarshan avatar. Who was the Sankarshan avatar. <coughs> and then the second child he got was uh, Lord Chaitanya. And then the second child he got was Lord Chaitanya. But Lord Chaitanya, it says that, that uh, Jagannath Mishra. But Lord Chaitanya, it says that Jagannath Mishra. He had a, a vision. He had a vision. Where Lord Chaitanya came into his mind. Where Lord Chaitanya came into his mind. To his heart. Into his heart. Transfer to the heart of Sachi Mata. Transfer to the heart of Sachi Mata. Like this, the uh, state in the body of Sachi Mata. Like this, stayed in the body of Sachi Mata. So it was a kind of immaculate conception. So it was a type of immaculate conception. A spiritual conception that didn't require physical contact. A spiritual conception that did not require physical contact. And uh, as she was given, uh, as her pregnancy uh, proceeded, as her pregnancy proceeded, uh, the devas came from the higher planets. The devas came from the higher planets to offer prayers. To offer her prayers to the child she was carrying. To the child she was carrying. We are your devotees. They prayed. We are your devotees. They prayed. Coming from the higher planets. Coming from the higher planets. So we don't need any material blessings. We don't need any material blessings. But too much of that already. We've got too much of that already. We only have two problems. We only have two problems. Sometimes we're attacked by demons. Sometimes we're attacked by demons. And they defeat us and uh, from our celestial homes. And they defeat us and from our celestial homes. And, or, or, or we defeat the other, or we have a fight in the case. Or we defeat them, but we have to fight in any case. And the other thing is that. And the other thing is that. There's so much sense gratification in the uh, heavenly planets. There's so much sense gratification in the heavenly planets. That we forget about you. That we forget about you. And therefore. And therefore. We heard that in this past time. We heard that in this past time. You get out freely. You give out freely love of, Krishna. love of Krishna. So please don't forget us. So please don't forget us. We need your mercy. We need your mercy. We need love of Krishna. We need love of Krishna. So much. So much. 
And then uh, Lord Chaitanya had them, had their shadows or something revealed to Mother Sachi. And then Lord Chaitanya had their shadows or something revealed to Mother Sachi. And then she got, she saw, oh. And then she saw, and she said, oh. oh there's some subtle energies here. There are some subtle energies here. So she started chanting. So she started chanting. Narsinga prayers. Narsinga prayers. Oh God, Miriam, Vishnu, Jalantam, Zarvato, Vakam, Narsingam, Vishnam, Vajam, Mitchu, Mitchu, Nanam, Yam, Pradesa, Padma, Mukta, Padma, Vinga, Jai, Nasimha, Si, Nasimha, Jai, 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 Si, Narsimha. I said, oh, she somehow sees us. And they said, oh, she somehow sees us. This is, this is the uh, play of uh, Krishna. This is the play of Krishna. Because we're supposed to be invisible to human beings. Because we're supposed to be invisible to human beings. But, so they quickly escaped. So they quickly escaped. So like this. So like this. There are different pastimes. There were different pastimes. <laughs> so then... On this day, so then on this day, Lord Chaitanya appeared. Lord Chaitanya appeared during the lunar eclipse. During the lunar eclipse, I, I was somehow misinformed. I, told. I was somehow misinformed. I was told there's a lunar eclipse here. I was told there's a lunar eclipse here. Apparently, it's in other part of the world. Apparently, it's in some other part of the world. So we don't have to worry about it. So we don't have to worry about it. <sighs> You have to eat early. I'm you sorry. have to eat early. <laughs> I'm sure you're lamenting. I'm sure you're lamenting. <laughs> so then, uh, <coughs> Lord Chaitanya appeared where all the people were in the Ganges chanting. So Lord Chaitanya appeared when all the people were in the Ganges chanting. Govinda. 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 Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So like this, even the uh, Muslims. So like this, even the Muslims. Were making fun. Were making fun. Oh, how the Hindus are chanting. Oh, how they do the chanting. Hare Ball, Hare Ball. Hare Ball, Hare Ball. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> So somehow or another, everybody was chanting. So somehow or another, everybody was chanting. And that was the environment that Lord Chaitanya came in. And that was the environment that Lord Chaitanya came in. And Srivas Thakur thought. And Srivas Thakur thought. They say that uh, an eclipse is inauspicious. They say that the eclipse is inauspicious. But everybody is chanting the holy names. But everybody is chanting the holy names. This is the most auspicious time. This is the most auspicious time. And spontaneously, Advaita Gosai in Shantipur. And spontaneously, Advaita Gosai in Shantipur. He started dancing. He started dancing. Uh, and Haridash Thakur, he was dancing. And Haridash Thakur, he was dancing. In Pulia. In Pulia. So everybody was feeling great joy. So everybody was feeling great joy. And the coming of Gauranga. At the coming of Gauranga. Lord Pariwaki. Jai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama.